Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, I can be there at like five. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a character. I'll do it. Yeah, uh, I'll see you then. When I'm gonna play d and I always kneel down and pray. I say, God give me strength, I don't know which class to play. He said, you yearn for guidance and something more. With that and healing word, take these d4s. I'll pledge my soul and spirit all for you. There's no bargain, my words are true. The darkest dungeons will be filled with light. Wisdom gives insight. Prepare all your spells each day, I'll help you simplify. And take cure wounds, bless and revivify. Do I have to be a healer? Is there anything more? Bitch, your support now, heal me or there's the door. Is that it, my purpose? To keep the fighter fighting like a heel bot surface. Fuck that, let's rise and crusade tonight. I'll cast a fireball with the God of Light. I'll pledge my soul and spirit all for you. There's no book in my words are true. I'm a holy templar with a kill squad I've got more magic than a wizard Not king domain, my wish is My son, you are trying to world build, yes? God? What is it? Here suits me. I have this gift for you. World Anvil? You mean the online tool where you can make maps, campaigns, and notes all easily organized and searchable in an explorer browser? You can also make D&D characters. Wow, you can also make D&D characters. Get started today with your World Anvil account and make your world campaign and adventures. And adventurers. So you're... Ah. <laughs> oh. Logan, the book caught me on fire again. Oh, that sucks. Uh, it's fine. I'll just put myself out. Jacob, that's no war! Ah! So you're gonna play Cleric, huh? The Faithful Support, the Party Healer, the Wound Closer. Well, actually, Clerics aren't just healers. They can also summon storms, fire, or even tricks. Uh, for example, have uh, you heard of our Lord and Savior, Giant Meteor of Death? Here's how to play Cleric. Clerics are notoriously one of the most holy classes to play in D&D. At level 1 you get spellcasting and your divine domain. That's right, clerics get their subclass right off the bat. The two abilities go hand in hand. Clerics gain their magic from the god they worship and serve, who in turn grants them miracles and powers. Kind of like a warlock, but more holy! Let's take a look at these divine domains. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve domains for the cleric. Plus Unearth Arcana, but I'm not gonna do them. Holy crap! So let's give a brief description of each one so you can get an idea of which one you would like the most for your cleric. Arcane! You have arcane magic, like a wizard. This is the coolest divine domain in my opinion. I really think it's awesome because it deviates away from a normal cleric and gives them magic because they worship the god of magic. That's so freaking awesome. I, uh, 
Oh, I love it! Death. D d oh. You worship the gods of death and destruction. You can double up on necromancy spells, wield cooler swords, and touch people to kill them. Forge, you're a crafting cleric. You can power up weapons and armor and craft metal items if you have the materials. You also gain some fire immunity and bonus to armor class. Brave, you worship the gods of life and death, gaining the ability to manipulate both. You can keep people alive, ensure others die, and detect undead because those are gross. Ew, oh, look at those teeth. Knowledge, you worship the nerd gods and gain proficiency in skills, tools, and can read thoughts. This cleric is devoted to learning, self-improvement, and being super smart, I guess. Yes. The fact that there is this subclass and arcana makes cleric so versatile and unique. Ooh! Life, the one everybody picks. Your gods are those of positive energies and life. You can heal the sick, drive away undead, and now you've accepted your fate of token healer of the group and went, ah, fuck it, might as well be the domain that can heal even more. Light, you worship the gods of the sun and flame! You can cast fiery, blinding spells to sear those who stand in thy path. Holy is the Lord, the heat death of the universe, the earth will die for its glory. <laughs> nature, N not a druid. You worship the nature gods instead of serving nature. Well, to be perfectly clear, druids harness nature and its power in order to protect and use it. Nature is a form of life that is exhibited in all forms of the material plane. Druids act as nature, meaning fires burn down forests, animals are killed, and traditions are stuck to. Nature clerics are more like wannabe hippies who worship the gods of nature in order to protect it. Nature clerics would be protectful of druids, where druids would either respect or piss off nature clerics. Tempest, clerics of the storms. You know what happens when a lich is struck by lightning? Same as everyone else. Except liches are resistant to lightning, so they'd actually take half damage. Tempest clerics worship the wrath of nature, the natural disasters that cause hundreds of casualties around the world annually. <laughs> oh, fuck. You harness that power to thunderbolt people. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Trickery! You worship the gods of tricks, pranks, gamblers, thieves, and scoundrels. You can charm others, disguise yourself, and make yourself vanish, or double up on your appearance. It's hard to know what to expect from a trickster cleric, even to know they're a cleric. This is really, honestly, a very unique cleric domain that I would love to see more of. Not your typical cleric, but a flavor to something out of the norm and more fun. The cool ones are the ones that are not typically very normal. The cure wounds is cool, but... Trickery is even better! War. You worship the ever-present battle of war, calling down the gods to aid you in battle. This is the fighter subclass for cleric. You can attack a lot, you can smite people. This is really close to paladin, but at least you don't have to take an oath. <laughs> Spellcasting! Spellcasting for a cleric is pretty dang complicated. It can get quite overwhelming for a new player, so if you're new, I don't recommend you play a cleric! Unless you really, really want to jump headfirst into a complicated magic system like the druid and the paladin and the everybody else that isn't a bard, wizard, warlock, or sorcerer, or ranger. <clears throat> Here's how it works. As explicitly stated from the holy scribes and texts of dupe magics, praise be unto him. Every day at which hour thee waketh up in the morning, thee prepareth the number of spells equal to thy wisdom plus leveleth. Thee can choose it from shit ton of spells. All spells art available to did cast, so long as thee prepareth those folk in the morning. The domain gives these spells yond art each moment did prepare, so those gents act as permanent spells. The can did cast did spell. Uh, 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 the the can did cast did prepare spells with thy spelleth slots, which the can see it listed on the cleric page. Praise unto dope magics and may thee find glory in thy spells, so long as he is rich as fuck. Alright, so a huge thing with the cleric is that, yes, you can prepare dozens of spells. You don't need to write them in a book or level up to change them, but a lot of them have a gold cost. Most spells in D&D have material components, but if they have a gold cost, you gotta go out and buy it. Which most of the cleric spells have. So before you clerics start being like, hee hee, I'm overpowered, I have a D8 and can hollow and scry. Let's not forget you must pay for some of these spells. And now you can be a tithing, money-hungry priest. Second level, channel divinity. Your domain gets an ability with it, and all clerics get the ability to ward away the undead. You present thy holy symbol, and pledge thy faith, and proclaim the words. Be gone, grandma! So, she really is dead. I had hoped, perhaps, she found a new life in undeath, 
I could have at least just said goodbye to her one last time. I shouldn't have left, Grandma. I'm sorry. <gasps> Jacob, are you okay? It's a terrible day for rain. <clears throat> Third levels! Third, third levels? Third level! You can cast some new spells, like find traps! Oh, oh, watch out for that. Yep, watch out for that one. Uh, oh, there's another one. Yep, watch out for that one. Uh, another one right there. Wow, <laughs> thanks God! Zone of Truth! Hey man, so, uh, do you, like, still consider us, like, friends? I mean, yeah. Okay, alright, okay, well, I'm uh, just give me one second, What all is right? happening? I am just doing? gonna do this real fast, just draw a quick circle, uh, it's called Zone of Truth. I'm just, very get over here. why is this a tight circle? Okay, okay. I'm protected from, uh, sea bears. Now, let me ask you that again, do you still consider us friends? What, 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 you had an easy time saying it earlier, what's wrong, what's wrong? I consider us lovers. And gentle repose. You, you, you're a cleric? No. You, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna bring her back to life? What? No. I'm gonna make sure she stays dead. What the fuck? Fourth level! Ability score improvement! Yay! Put it into wisdom! Yay! Fifth level! Destroy undead! You present thy holy symbol, and pledge thy faith, and proclaim the words! Come back to me, Grandma. I didn't take revivify. At 5th level, you also get 3rd level spells, like Revivify, Daylight, and Bestow Curse and Animate Dead. Okay, what? What? H what? Huh? You play a class that's uh, primary feature is to destroy undead, and then you can turn around and make more undead. Haha! <laughs> now I have the powers to create an evil undead army! Oh, then here's Destroy Undead, uh, in case you just need to destroy all of them. <laughs> what? Why do I have this? I shrugged. Did you see me shrug? I'm, I'm, God, I'm pretty sure if I saw you shrug, my brain would explode. Ah, uh, well, that's true. Sixth level, you cast Channel Divinity a little more, and you get a feature for your Divine Domain, yay. Seventh level, fourth level spells. You can cast Guardian of Faith, Banishment, and Death Ward. So I have a funny story about Death Ward. We were playing my main game, known as Immortals, like a few years ago, and one of the characters was a dwarf cleric of life named Grud, and he had given the ability to fly by an NPC in order to talk with them away from the group. So they flew hundreds of feet into the air to speak. Once they finished, the NPC teleported back down from the party, forgetting about Grud, kind of intentionally she was like a villain, and Grud, instead of flying back down, uh, just fell and cast a death ward on himself. Death Ward allows you to live after dropping to zero hit points, so Grud fell hundreds and hundreds of feet, slamming into the cobblestone, breaking near every bone in his body, and it all slowly congealed back together, and he stood and awoke at one whole hit point. Cliff diving with clerics. Eighth level, ability score improvement. I am even more wiser. Destroy undead now at a higher, uh, dest destroy undead now at higher level enemies and your domain feature. Ninth level, fifth level spells, gas spells like scrying, mass cure wounds, and insect plague. Why are clerics so evil? I, I think it's more of like a biblical thing. Tenth level, DIVINE INTERVENTION! This is one of the coolest abilities in D&D in my opinion. You can straight up call up on a god and say, Hey bro, I need help. And if you roll below your level on a D100, God literally comes down and says, I got you. Don't fuck with me! I have the power of God and anime on my side! Eleventh <laughs> level, destroy even more powerful undead. And sixth level spells, spells like Hero's Feast, Planar Ally, and Create Undead. Okay, what? Why, why? Why are clerics just necromancers? They have all of these spells playing towards evil and villainy. Screw wizard, you got yourself a good disguise for a necromancer. Hi, I'm just a cleric. Psych! Zombies and plagues and the wrath of Vecna! Twelfth level, ability score improvement, yay! Thirteenth level, you can cast seventh level spells such as Regenerate, Firestorm, and Temple of the God. Well, we need to build a new church. Uh, don't really have the resources though, so uh... Yep, that was easy. Fourteenth level. Accept that your grandma is dead and she's likely in heaven with God. Except, wait, you have raised dead so you can get your grandma back. Fifteenth level. Dear God! 
You can cast eight level spells like destroy San Francisco. <laughs> Oh man, that was a bad one. 16th level ability score and V76 GVF 9A6 S87. 17th level. Kill your undead grandma and realize the awful mistakes you've made. And divine domain. And 9th level spells such as astral projection, gate, mass heal, and true resurrection. <gasps> grandma, I could no. Stop. I've been fooled before. I can't. She's gone. Also, I don't have 25,000 gold pieces. 18th level, channel divinity three times asleep. 19th level, ability score improvement. 20th level. Divine intervention works every time you use it. Ooh!